Earnings season in full swing, some good, some not so good, but by day's end, little movement on the Wall Street indices. The Dow finishing up 44 points, closing at 25,064. The S&P 500 down two points, ending at 22,798. And the Nasdaq down 20 to finish the day at 78.05. Market analysis now from Charlie Tool. He is with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and he's in the newsroom this evening. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Brian. So what was moving or really not moving these markets much today? Yeah, there was a few factors out there uh, moving the markets, and uh, the primary one being uh, the price of oil. Uh, today that commodity was down 4% on news that uh, sanctions on Iran are not going to be as, uh, as onerous as originally thought, and that really affected the price of oil and the energy sector, which was the worst performing sector in the market today. On the flip side, you had the financial sector, which was the best performing sector, helped by higher interest rates and some bank earnings. Let's stay with the good news, the financial se sector. We had some big banks report late last week, a couple more today. What are we hearing? Yeah, so two specifically, I think, drove the sector higher. The first one was Deutsche Bank. Uh, the German bank was out with uh, an earnings pre-announcement this morning, and they're saying that their profits are going to be significantly higher than expected. The company is expecting to earn about 400 million euros versus the expectation of about 150 million euros. Uh, and that helped the stock today. Uh, the stock was up about 8%. And then we also had Bank of America reporting earnings. That company also had a, a very strong report. Uh, their capital markets division and credit cards division did well. Uh, and they also uh, had better than expected uh, loan growth and lower expenses. And that helped the stock uh, move higher by about 4% today. Let's talk about Netflix. They reported after hours today. What do they have to say? Yeah, well, the, the news wasn't as good for Netflix. They, uh, they reported earnings, and uh, their revenue and their profits were in line. Uh, but really what hurt the stock was the subscri subscription growth. Uh, the company had about 670,000 new subscribers in the quarter, well below the expectations of about 1.2 million. And the company also experienced uh, slower growth internationally as well. And this is a problem that's not going to go away. The company lowered their guidance for subscription growth in the next quarter, and that's really weighing on the stock. The stock down over 10% after hours. All right. Well, uh, Wall Street likes to look at reports as well. Retail sales out today. What did that show us? Yeah, so retail sales continue to be strong and positive. Uh, retail sales were up about half a percent in June. Not as strong as the 1.3% uh, rise in May, but still uh, showing growth and, and showing a recovery from the sluggishness that we had at the, uh, in the early part of the year. And you've heard us say many times, U.S. consumer drives U.S. economy, and, and that report is showing that the consumer is still in a good place and, and spending. Well, and we already talked a little bit about Amazon Prime Day, speaking of retail sales. What are we expecting from that? Uh, well, there's, there's big expectations for Prime Day in spite of the uh, slow start that the company's having with the technical difficulties. Uh, Amazon Prime Day has been uh, its biggest uh, sales boost. It, last year, Prime Day had bigger sales than Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And this year, with the extended hours, 36 hours and instead of 30, and, and 17 countries instead of 13, the expectations are even higher. And, and we'll find out in a day or two how the company's going to do. Well, and speaking about a day or two, what are we looking at for tomorrow? Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to get more earnings reports. We'll hear from Johnson & Johnson, Goldman Sachs, and United Healthcare, And we'll also hear from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. He'll be uh, testifying in front of the Senate the first uh, day of his two-day testimony in front of Congress. Charlie Toole, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Brian.